If you'd like to demonstrate the use of an HP calculator, HPs are extremely good at doing complex numbers. I found that they're worth about 10 points on midterms in electrical and computer engineering because tests tend to be races. Having a calculator that can get you through the test without bogging it down with the computations is worth quite a bit. I kind of estimate about 10 points. To illustrate how HPs do complex numbers, um, this is an HP 42 app. It's a free app on Androids and iPhones called Free42. With that, it uh, simulates an HP42 calculator, in my opinion, one of the best calculators ever made. HPs are a little bit different. To add numbers, there's a thing called the stack. I can't simply say 1 plus 2. What I have to do is take 1, push it on the stack, take the number 2. Now the stack has 1 and 2. I can add those two numbers together. 1 plus 2 is 3. To multiply by 5, I hit the number 5. It automatically pushes y, pushes the 3 onto the y stack. X is now 5. I can now multiply 3 times 5. Divide by 7. So you can add, subtract, multiply, divide with HP calculators, just like a TI. Where they really shine is with complex numbers. To input a complex number with an HP 42, there's this thing called complex. If you want to input the number 1 plus J2, it's a 1, enter 2, complex. That's 1 plus J2. To add 3 plus J4 to it, 3, enter 4, complex. I now have a Y register is 1 plus J2, X is 3 plus J4. I can add those together. You can multiply complex numbers. 7, enter 9, complex. 4 plus J6 times 7 plus J9 is minus 26 plus J78. Divide by 8 plus J7, 8, enter 7, complex. Divide. You can add, subtract, multiply, divide complex numbers with ease with HPs. You'll also do things like, I can take the sine of a complex number, the log of a complex number, square root of a complex number, it doesn't care. If you're doing complex numbers, HPs are the way to go. Um, I definitely recommend getting an HP, either the free 42 in this class, or later classes where they don't let you use your cell phone on tests, I'd recommend an HP 35S. They're extremely easy to use and very quick with complex numbers. One last thing to mention, to go to polar form, if I do modes, there it is, modes, polar, that same number is 2.5 at minus 6 degrees. If I say 8 at 45 degrees, in polar form, you enter the amplitude and the angle. I can then switch back to rectangular form. It'll switch between polar and rectangular with ease. That's an HP 42.